Hi, and welcome to this section of the Advanced Algebra Tutor. And in this section, we're going to tackle arithmetic sequences and series. So up until now, we've introduced the sequence, which is just a listing of numbers that, uh, that are just a, literally just a listing of numbers that has a pattern. And the series, which is the addition or the sum of however many number uh, or however many of those uh, elements of the sequence we have, Okay, that's a general form of a series, and we also introduce a sigma notation to write that down. Now, the next section and this section are going to deal with specific kinds of sequences and series, famous ones that have been studied over the years, and uh, so they have special names. Okay, so this one is called, the first thing we're going to talk about is the arithmetic sequence. Remember, let's recalibrate ourselves. The sequence is just a list of numbers. There's no addition going on. It's just a sequence. So we're going to talk about an arithmetic sequence, and then we're going to talk about its associated series, okay? So the uh, arithmetic sequence is kind of cool, and it's really easy. So uh, don't, uh, don't get so upset if, if you don't quite understand right away. Arithmetic sequence. Okay, and we're going to underline that because that's kind of a big term. So what this is is uh, it's a sequence so that each term in the sequence uh, differs from the previous term by a constant amount. Okay, so that's literally what it means. Uh, the constant difference is denoted D, is uh, what we're going to talk about here. So let's say I give you a sequence, and it's, it looks like this. 3, 9, 15, 21, dot, dot, dot. Now let's look at this, okay? What is the difference between 3 and 9? Okay, this difference, which I'm going to call D, is equal to 6. That's the difference. What is the difference between 9 and 15? This D is, again, 6. What is the difference between 15 and 21? This D uh, is also equal to 6. So you see, with the pattern here, each element in the sequence differs by the previous element by a constant amount. That's exactly what this says. Each term differs from the previous term by a constant amount. This is an arithmetic sequence. Okay? So it's really easy. Okay? It's really easy. It's, it's, it's got a complicated sounding name, but an arithmetic sequ sequence is really easy. Every term is just a constant difference from the previous term. That's all it means, okay? And this constant difference is denoted with the, the, the D, okay? D for difference, okay? So as another example, if I had, uh, let's say, negative uh, 2, negative 7, negative 12, negative 17, uh, then let's look at that. What is the difference between negative 2 and negative 7. I think you can convince yourself that D would be negative 5. That's the difference between the two. What is the difference between negative 7 and negative 12? Again, the difference between those two is negative 5. What is the difference between negative 12 and negative 17? D is equal to negative 5. So again, this uh, this is an uh, arithmetic sequence as well, and this time the difference between the elements is negative 5. So, so it's really not that hard to, to understand uh, when you write them out like this. Now what trips people up sometimes is when they present in the books the uh, general form of an arithmetic sequence. Okay, the general form of it looks like this. A sub n is equal to, 